What's good, y'all? It's your boy Black G92. <laughs> now, this evening, I'm going to do a reaction to this video where Tom McDonald explains. And as you see in the title, the biggest music industry screw up job ever. I can't believe they're doing this to us. And basically, with reference to the Billboard, not counting the physical copies of him and Ab Calhoun's collaboration on The Brave, like the, physical, the ones that have been sold out since. I think it was last week, I believe, because I know I got one of the copies <laughs> sitting in my room somewhere, like near the TV, which I do plan on listening to sometime, not even sometime, but more so when I get off work. So that's pretty much what my plan is on that. But back on this subject, yeah, that's basically what he's going to talk about in this video is how like the billboards on that BS, man, just not counting their hard copies, which, which is messed up because you would think that a platform like the billboards would like to shed light on artists that's doing their thing, you know what I mean, as far as sales and shit, make sure they're recognized on the charts, you know what I mean, and plus they got the fan base to do numbers, so I don't understand why, but I'm going to hear what Tom and Don has to say about this whole thing in about three, two, one. Hi guys. All right, I'm gonna tell you a little story. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it does not have a happy ending. And this story is called, The Biggest Music Industry Screw Job Ever. Newsflash, there's a lot of independent artists who don't like me, but I hope you guys can see past the hate boner that you have for me and see how <laughs> valuable this is and how important it is to independent artists everywhere. And you know what? I wonder what independent artists is talking crazy about them. Well, hey, you know, I guess you can't, yes, you can't please everybody, I guess, so. <laughs> Whatever the issue is, hey, that ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Not just independent artists, it's major label artists too. Look yeah. what Kanye West just did. Kanye just completely bailed on the music industry and released his new album on an MP3 player. Yep. What Kanye's just now doing with his album on his MP3 player is what I've been doing with physical CDs for four years. Ah. Completely cutting out the music industry, being a disruptor. Anyway, I just had to say that. I've been screwed the industry before Kanye was. And we <laughs> sold more physical copies of the Brave album than Kanye did of the STEM player. But whatever. Who's counting, right? I'll tell you exactly who's counting. Not the data collection company that reports the numbers to Billboard. Okay, here we go. Despite our best efforts, unlike everybody else, the physical copies of our new album, The Brave, will not be counted towards the Billboard charts. Now, it's important that you know that this is not a problem directly with Billboard. Billboard's always been really cool to us, actually. But oh, for real? Well, so, damn, who's, who's, who's like, doing all this then? But I'm sorry for pausing so much, but I'm, if, it's not, and if it's not Billboard itself, then why was doing it? And I do remember reading an article about how Kanye West's latest album, Down to Two, which went straight to the stem player for two hundred dollars. You got to pay two hundred to even listen to the motherfucker. We well for the stem player just to listen to the motherfucker. But anyway, like you know, it sold some units, and I don't think, and I don't think that's, and plus, I do believe. I mean, I'm gonna have to look up the numbers to see how many, how much like of the copies of the Brave sold in comparison to Down to Two. Because if that's the case, then Hats off to them dudes, man, for real. But anyway, like, I read that, that article about Kanye West is down to two ineligible to be counted, which is crazy. And of course, there's people in the comment section of that said article that was posted with the headline, of course. People was clowning Kanye and such. But, like, if anything, Kanye West did something smart. And it's going to inspire a lot of young rappers out here to do the same thing. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, key started a trend. It's going to be a whole bunch of other young rappers that's going to go ahead and go against the grain of what is popular. Like, they're going to start going over the stem and have people pay to listen to that motherfucker instead of just having to go through, like, have to go to these streaming app, st streaming platforms to listen to their music. I mean, and plus, not to mention, all that money Kanye West sold on Donda 2 went straight to him. But anyway, I'm going to get back, back on this top right here. Here's something y'all probably didn't know. Billboard does not collect their own data for the Billboard charts. There's a data collection company that counts all of the downloads, the streams, the views, and the data collection company takes those numbers, gives them to Billboard, and Billboard makes their charts. Mm. My issue That's is with the data collection company. Mm. So over a period of two weeks, we exchange 43 emails with this data collection wow. company. And despite us being ready, willing, and able to give wow. them all of the information that they wanted, they essentially just didn't believe us about our physical album sales. What? So we got excluded from the charts. 
Now, you guys aren't going to believe this. Trust me. I'll start from the beginning. I've never done a digital album before. And Adam has only done digital albums. So we compromise and decide to do both. And when I brought this idea to Nova, she realized that this would be the perfect time for us to report our physical sales to Billboard for the first time. And after a little research, we realized that if we combined our digital sales with our physical sales, it would practically guarantee us the number one spot on That's the album true. charts on Billboard. Independently! <laughs> Look, we all got really excited. We honestly couldn't believe it. But numbers don't lie. And we realized that we had an opportunity to deal a massive blow to the music industry mm. by outperforming major label artists on a chart that was specifically designed for them. So we rescheduled our entire release around this idea. We were going to drop our digital album and our physical album at the same time so all of the numbers would be accounted for simultaneously and we topped the chart. Independently! <laughs> but little did we know what was up ahead. Step oh, one, shit. Nova starts reaching out to the data collection company oh, to get sorry. us... Read, read the email. I gave you an email because I need to get sub with you to report physical copies of upcoming album, album drops. February 18th last year we sold 30,000 physical copies the first week. Selling using Squarespace, ship stain, and for fulfillment in-house. How would I go about setting up to report properly? Well, independent operation always told me that I was remote for an only doing things as soon as Hold up, I'm gonna move this shit out the way because I can't read. Hold up. Damn. Shit. Damn. Sending fancy emails through the video director about the help because we're not no strangers. Hmm. Okay, so it sounds like she was like very cordial, wanting to see how the, pro how the process goes. Hmm. I'm ready to hear this. Set up as reporters so that they can account for our numbers. Now, there's this massive list of different rules and regulations that you have to abide by if you want them to count your physical sales. Uh, so we make sure we got the most up-to-date rules and regulations. Yeah. We read all of them and we follow them. I mean, look at the back of your Brave CD. You see this little UPC code? Yeah. It's not on any of my other albums. It's only there because it's one of their requirements. Anyway, because of the strict rules surrounding albums and merch packs and what you can bundle together and how it has to be packaged and blah, 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 blah. We initially decide to not do a list of different rules and regulations that you have to abide by if you want them to count your physical sales. So we make sure we got the most up-to-date rules and regulations. We read all of them and we follow them. I mean, look at the back of your Brave CD. You see this little UPC code? Yeah. It's not on any of my other albums. It's only there because it's one of their requirements. Anyway, because of the strict rules surrounding albums and merch packs and what you can bundle together and how it has to be packaged and blah, 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 blah. We initially decide to not do merch packs and we decide to save our silver and gold album covers for a different project down the line. We made all the sacrifices that we were required to make to have our physical albums accounted for on the billboard charts as per their own guidelines. Fine. No problem. We clarify with them that we're taking the right steps. They confirm that we are, and we move forward. All systems go. <sighs> now, this is where things entirely fall apart. Okay. To keep this video short, not three hours long, <laughs> I'm not going to read you all 43 emails. Yeah, I'll show you the pieces of the emails best. that are most important, and I'll do my absolute best, best to give you an accurate reader's digest of this entire scenario. Look, I'm going to give you as much context as humanly possible, and I'm going to be 100% transparent about all of this. Let's dive into these emails. Mm -hmm. And let me add, I had to constantly follow up with these people on a daily basis yeah. to get any response at all. And when they did respond, I'd mm -hmm. get like one or two lines of text. Many times just offhandedly dismissing us or completely failing to acknowledge any of our questions or concerns. To register as a reporter, they essentially want to vet your website. They want to know what kind of sales you've done in the past year and oh, what... Let's say, I think we can move forward without the box set. I won't have the physical... Oh, this is from Nova. Okay, this is from Nova. Okay, so that my point is report on both. See if that gets set up. Can you give me that? Oh, this is bet response. Can you give me an idea? Huh? Um, <laughs> I think in the previous email she gave the idea as far as a typical week from her, from the previous releases. But okay. Sales you expect to be reporting with this upcoming release. So we answer the question with how many albums we sold last year. Let me see. I'm not sure what you're asking. The upcoming album. I like to. I like to get set up to report for a release. So, put thirty thousand physical copies first. That's where you never fucked up our sales. <sighs> right, right. Because you know people might buy more copies, and there's additional orders that have to be sent out. So, hey, I see where she's coming from. Last week is now reflective of our sales. 
a total. Wow. Okay, hundred fifty thousand in two thousand twenty-one last year. Damn. <laughs> Tom. Hey, shit. Them, hey, Hangover just pushing. You know what I mean? Like Tom McDonald's shit sells like hotcakes if it's like the first week, though. Like if it's the first freaking week. Well, first week of last year, hundred and fifty thousand. That is amazing. That's that's good for independent artists for sure. That's very solid, <laughs> cause like most people don't sell that much starting off, like for real. But then again, like I said, he been doing his thing for some years, so that also plays a part into it. Only so two hundred fifty the first week. Yeah, sometimes you know he might have a slow have a slow run. You know what I mean? Cause like some people, cause sometimes like it just may dissipate. Like, things change. So, but nonetheless, that first week though. That is impressive numbers. You should at least give them sent the that that data collection company that to trust them into like counting the numbers of this latest album they don't release. But let's go ahead here. But. How many we expect to sell this year? And we give them screenshots of everything that we've done for the past 12 months. We also ask what the reporting process is like and how sales are actually reported. Because our album released in a month at that point, and we had to be diligent about getting this done in a timely fashion. They told us, and I quote, we have plenty of time to get you set up for reporting since the release is not until next month. I'm still not done with the website vetting, but we will get back to you when that is complete. Also, please only include direct to consumer from the website and leave out any other sales from vendors slash providers. Mm. So we send more screenshots from the back end of our website that shows the total sales from last year. Mm. We also tell them that we do not work with any vendors or providers. We do everything ourselves completely independently. So everything is from our hands to their hands. Two days later, they finally respond with this. I'm not certain of the album sales you have quoted to us as they are not meeting what we would expect what? based on the data we have from major providers mm -hmm. at this time, including sales and streaming. Can you provide the name of your distributor? We distribute independently through TuneCore. So we tell them that. We also tell them that if they're trying to authenticate physical... I was saying. Could you bring more clarity to what you mean by I'm not meeting on the album sales? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm glad she responded. We currently distribute through TuneCore, but have worked with STEM in the past. These 2021 sale numbers are for our for our for uh, for our physical copies, which are available only on the website. I've never gone to streaming. Our fans buy physical albums if they want to hear the album. I'm aware of your bundle rules. I will not be bundling this upcoming album as such and try to report these past sales that were never given UPC, UPCs. The total count number of all multi-packs, one items, 83,640. That's, that's some good numbers right there. The upcoming album, The Brave, that releases on February the 18th is the first album that we put in the that we will be putting the streaming and the only reason we're doing it is because we believe we have a, a fair shot at the billboard album charts could you be more specific what notarization from south can or bmi is i could try to what Let's see Let's see okay i could try to I invite you to the back end of the website and verify our... oh okay so this looks like they've been following the rules thus far huh it's through data acquired from digital platforms, they're going to get a very distorted picture of what's actually going on here. I explain that only a very small percentage of my music goes to these digital streaming platforms. The only songs that go to these digital streaming platforms are the songs that I release on YouTube with music videos. I explain that I release two or three physical albums every year. I explain that that's around 50 songs. I explain that only a very small number of those 50 physical songs ever end up digitally available on the internet. So how could the digital data reflect my physical sales when the digital data only represents a very small portion of my physical music? Yeah, I'll answer that question. Right. It can't. And since we feel like they just called us liars, we offer them back-end access to our store so that they can verify the numbers themselves directly. We would completely remove ourselves from the situation so that they can see what we can see. So that there's no chance the numbers could be defrauded or tampered with in any way. I just gotta say that is unprecedented access and transparency. It's actually very dangerous for us to be even giving out that kind of access. But we wanted to be on the billboard charts. We wanted to play with the big boys. We wanted to prove to the world 
that independent artists are just as impactful, just as powerful, and just as worthy of industry recognition as the major label artists are. Thanks. So at this point, since we yes. feel like they just called us liars, we start CCing anyone that we work with in any capacity who could possibly help verify these numbers to the data collection company. We ended up having like four or five people on this email thread. One of them being my friend and the owner of the warehouse who has manufactured my CDs from the very beginning of my career. He sees every single order that comes in. He's actually the guy that sends you guys your t-shirts. He replies in this email thread, and I quote, I can verify and prove all of the information provided below. Let me know how I can assist. No reply. Our other industry friends start questioning them at this point. They start asking the data collection company, do you guys even have a mechanism or a process to account for? Let me see. As an artist, Tom has not used a distributor for his physical sales. The customer, <coughs> the customers, no, the customers purchase via his website, receive the product in the mail. No distributors used to fulfill the sale to this customer. Is it true? Do it yourself, DIY operation. That said, how can we get Tom's indie sales into billboard charts? There's a mechanism I have to true DIY slash NDRs without distribution deals to be clued into the album charts. I'm happy to help work with Tom and his team to see how we can move the process forward. Hmm. See, even other, it's crazy how even other people are noticing some fishy about this whole process that the data collection agency is putting them through. They're putting like Tom and his team through, like, because, yeah, it's, it is, fish, it's, def, I'm, I'm, it does show that, you may have questions about that, and plus, they can, it came out, and plus, the fact that it came out verified, it's, like, all straight from his website, and no other distributors, lets you know that, they weren't, there's, none of this is capped, so, man, this story getting interesting, it's time. Truly independent artist numbers? Does that even exist? They inform us that they do in fact have the process in place. We ask what that process is. They refuse to give us the information, but they tell us that they'd be happy to once their questions about my past sales have been answered. Uh, we tell them that we're unsure of what questions they're asking. They ask us to confirm the number of physical albums that were officially accepted by a publishing company. Our friend explains in the email that Nova and I independently, totally on our own, distribute our physical sales to the people. There is no publishing company accounting for physical sales. Huh. They still don't get it. They miserably fail to understand that our business is truly independent. So we once again explain how our business model works. Right, let me go ahead and read this again. I think you need to understand we're a truly independent operation here. This the artist is my boyfriend. He produced all the music we write together. I shoot and direct the music videos and manage the e-commerce. Now the e warehouse we used to fulfill our order started as a thousand square feet CD manufacturer that employed two people and expanded with us into a ten thousand square foot full service print on demand fulfillment center that employs fourteen people. Damn, fourteen people. Like, print all those CDs and merch? Damn, they're the real MVPs. Like, hats off to them. I know they, they have to, like, put in a hell of work to get those albums out there. Exclusively. And work and works exclusively for U.S. Uh, exclusively for us. We've increased the worth of their business by millions of dollars. I'm adding in the, blah, 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 in the numbers. Seeing us. It's the, it's, if the numbers seem unbelievable, it's because they're the truly because they are this truly is unbelievable however it's re it is real we could we would like to compete on album charts completely independently so the information that you need I mean, that you need we all need is has come from or myself we are the people who touch physical albums that have offered you background access to my store That's too much. <laughs> A grassroots operation, totally outside of the music industry. We explain that we've packed over 200,000 albums with our own hands. We send pictures of us over the years packing albums, labeling albums, and dropping them off at the post office. We tell them that if the numbers seem unbelievable, it's because they are unbelievable. I get it. It is unbelievable that a kid and his girlfriend have managed to do something as large as we're doing it completely independent of the music industry. I get it. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But you're a data collection company and we're giving you the proof, so believe it because it's exactly. true. We it's again true. explain that the information she wants is the information we have and us alone. And we're trying to give it to her. We're, we're trying to give it to her. 
At this point, I've had absolutely enough. Nova has been the person emailing back and forth with them, and I've just been kind of watching from a distance. Now, Nova wants this so bad for us that it's literally all that she's thinking about. She's waiting at her computer all day, just hoping that she's going to get a reply from them. And then when their office is closed at 8 p.m., she just, like, goes to bed. Like, totally defeated. I saw a lot of tears that week. A lot of them. And with both of us feeling super frustrated and totally defeated, I would finally step in. When I start personally sending emails, it gets ugly. Here's how that went. I informed the data collection company that I have a massive six-week campaign for the Brave album, complete with promotional materials, music videos, marketing, blah, 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 blah. A plan that it took me weeks to come up with, I might add. A plan that I annoyed the hell out of Adam with because I was insistent <laughs> that it had to go exactly the way that I wanted it to go. Mm. Anyway, I tell them that I'm going to have to reconfigure this entire six-week plan if I can't get a clear answer from them on if we can record our physical albums or how we do it or what the hell's going on. Yeah. Sidebar, you got to understand. This whole mess is ultimately why we ended up moving the digital release from February 18th to March 4th. You guys remember when that happened? Yeah. We had to order a ton more CDs. We had to scramble to create merch packs that we weren't initially going to do because we weren't allowed to bundle merch with albums according to their guidelines. Yeah. We had to go into overdrive and try and salvage a six week campaign that got screwed up because we were waiting for them to accept our numbers. Yeah. Anyways, I tell these guys that I need a clear answer so I can move forward. Yeah. Yeah, nope. That explains it because I see a lot of a lot of just like changes in like the release push back to release the physical out not physical but more so a digital version edition of the album physical copy of, not physical but the digital copy of the album and I was wondering what was going on but I'm glad he explained it though like it was because the data like collection company was on that BS <laughs> has been confirmed right here and yeah no wonder that explains everything. Response to that email I follow up again and they reply to me. And I quote, Hi Tom and all. I've been reviewing the site, the data we have from streaming for past releases, socials, and comparable sales from similar genres during this vetting period. It doesn't support the sales you have quoted earlier in this thread. What? Did any of these sales happen to be null orders out to fan clubs, other retailers, etc.? I'm still trying to understand the provided data to explain the abnormally high numbers before we can allow you to report. Mm. <laughs> Wow. Again, in my eyes, telling us that they don't believe us. So what? I immediately Empty respond time. with a nuclear bomb of an email. <laughs> and it goes like this. <laughs> you continually ask the same questions. Same we continually question. answer them. We have been painfully transparent with you. And still, you make absolutely no movement. If you won't sign in to the back end of our store, which we've offered you access to, to verify the sales yourself, and you won't take the endorsement from anyone else that's involved in our very small and obviously extremely successful business, it seems as though there's nothing else we can do here. Your job is to collect and report data to Billboard, a chart that I would assume takes pride in presenting an accurate portrayal of the sales landscape in regards to the music business. Yeah. And for some reason, you are preventing adequate data collection and accurate reporting. If you can't figure out how to verify a truly independent artist sales, go talk to someone who does. If you don't have the mechanism, you should all be embarrassed of yourselves. Yeah, I've likened this entire situation to waiting outside a treehouse while you block the door. Mm. You are preventing us from hanging out with the cool kids mm. for a reason that you can't seem to provide. We're asking you what we can possibly do to get in, and you can't seem to articulate a conclusive answer. We just keep running in circles. Please help or like. put us in contact with someone who can. Your unwillingness to make any progress has gone on long enough and already forced me to adjust an extremely important release campaign multiple times. Mm. Every song I release hits number one on iTunes. Most of them hit number one on multiple billboard charts. My YouTube, where I post my music videos, has 3 million subscribers. Yeah. I have music videos with 30 million actual views. I've been on Fox News and an endless amount of other acclaimed platforms. What part of this is unbelievable this, to you? I shouldn't have to explain independent musicianship and the marketing thereof to someone who's apparently responsible for collecting the results of said marketing. Yeah. Figure it out. <laughs> it would be great to get a prompt response. Tom, I hit send. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you Ready for it to get even crazier? Hey, I didn't ever hear back from that email. 
One of my music industry friends who's CC'd on the email senses my frustration and he decides to weigh in and try and help out. He adds, just to help if possible, Tom's videos released on YouTube have gathered over a hundred million views in 2021 alone. We help collect the publishing income generated from those views and we can confirm over a hundred million views from his videos in 2021 alone. They didn't respond to that email either. I followed up for the next two days. No responses. This is almost 50 emails in a two week span and absolutely no progress at all. I follow up multiple times. Nothing. I find out who the higher ups are. I email them. Nothing. I follow up. Nothing. Then I find out that me and Nova have been removed from this email thread entirely. My friend tells us that he's received an email from someone within the data collection company. We were told that they were trying to set up a phone call and that we were to have no further communication with the people that we had been dealing with previously. According to this new person, all further communications were to go through him. So my friend and the data company That's set up a time to get on the phone and talk about it. And they didn't ever answer that call. And we called more than once. Like, do you guys see what is happening here? Yeah, our physical album sales combined with our digital album sales would have practically guaranteed us a number one spot on the Billboard album charts independently. Now, look, I know a lot of independent artists out there. They, they don't like me. <laughs> and that's fine. I, I don't need more friends. Mm. But look past that. It's not just my album. It's not just my career. It's your albums. Mm. It's your careers. It's your blood, sweat, tears, time, energy, and money that they are refusing to acknowledge on the industry charts. Look, all musicians, whether you want to admit it or not, we all at some point in time have used the billboard charts as a measuring stick for our own personal successes. That's it's the most acclaimed music chart in the entire world. Yeah. And it's supposed to represent all of us accurately. It's supposed to be reliable. But if the data collection companies, in regards to independent artists, aren't competent in their collection and delivery of data, what do the charts even mean? Having your creation on the billboard charts carries a degree of prestige with it. And I personally don't think it's appropriate to have the integrity of the charts in the hands of a data collection company who won't even tell an independent artist how to prove their sales are legitimate and our numbers are worthy of competing in the mainstream arena. Musicians, show this to your friends. Show this to your family. Show this to other musicians. Shining a light on these things could force a total overhaul within the industry of how they deal with independent artists in regards to charting. In general, the music industry is archaic, inefficient, and unfair. And it's about damn time it got renovated. If you're a musician, I know you care about your art. If you're a fan, I know you care about your favorite artist. Stand up for them. Stand up for yourselves. You know, it's not just like a clever catchphrase. It truly is us against them. And we might never win the fight, but I'm damn sure showing up for it. Our new album, The Brave, is out now. And the only way that we're going to be able to compete with these guys, because they've discluded our physical copies, is if you guys go to iTunes or go to Amazon and download the digital copy of our new album, The Brave. We need everybody to take action. This is like a tiny snowball rolling down the hill right now. And if we all take action, we could turn that snowball into a freaking avalanche. Okay. And look, this is the absolute last time I'm doing things this way. But I'll tell you this much, I'm going to leave a hell of a mark on my way out. I love y'all so much. As always, screw the music industry. It's <laughs> Hangover Gang forever. I love y'all. Peace. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> I got to get press a like on this button. Because, hey, Tom McDonald just told his truth. And, you know, he was very open and just very transparent on all the issues he had going on with that whole data collection company. And, yeah, <laughs> based on what I've seen, man. Yeah, they definitely need to fire them motherfuckers out of that. Get them motherfuckers out of there. Replace it with people that genuinely give a fuck about shedding light on artists that's doing their thing. Like, have these campaigns. Like, like you know, Tommy Donald mentioned. Tommy Donald mentioned. Like, he had, he had to reschedule a campaign with with Adam, whatever. Because he had a whole plan laid out for a six-week campaign to promote the album. He had to push it back and push back the digital release dates. Because it was all, all that nonsense he just described. And it's crazy how they got one person like, oh... Answer to me. Like, damn, like, it's like some extortion going on, ain't it? <laughs> Shit. Like, if anything, like, maybe the person that was doing those promising, like, answer phone calls should check with his employees. Like, for real. Because, like, like I said before in my previous video, like, the whole purpose of the billboard is to shed light on artists' 
You know what I mean? There's doing numbers and making a living off their art and their music. You know what I mean? And of course, give fans an indication of where the artists sit at on the charts. You know what I mean? Shit. And knowing that, you know, that, that you know, the artist is active. So, like, if, if, and he does, and also Tom McDonald brought up a good point. That the Billboard was once something that we all look forward to as fans and people that did music. And also, also those of us that's out there, like, pushing music as what well, that's out there, like, recording music and, like, making a living off of it, like, can, can just look to it. It's like, oh, yeah, this, this, that shit. Okay, this is where they at. Right, right there. It's, it's, it missed something. But. And out hearing this in full detail in this video, man, it just really just <laughs> soured that taste. I always suspected that there's some funny shit going on in the industry anyway, like way before I seen this video. But this further another is another example of what kind of just was tired the taste in my mouth of what goes on in the industry, man. Definitely needs a change definitely needs some changes on how they how they, how like the people that collects the data for billboard charts like they, they need to get an overhaul in that shit and get more, get newer people in that motherfucker and be more efficient and more trustworthy of what's what it being told through the emails because like to, for just to like freaking Kasi just answer the same questions over and over again like it can drive someone crazy even the strongest person would just lose it you know what i mean and Hats off for Tom McDonald to still be still staying strong in this, you know what I mean? Because most people just shut down. For real. Let me see what people say in the comment section. Seven minutes in, interesting. Data age collection agency we're in contact with. Yes, yeah, it's interesting how they were asked about the publishing <laughs> what publishing <laughs> company collects the the sales as if that's supposed to matter. Like that's crazy. And because I'm reading this little con matter of fact, I might mention this in the future video because it's probably long as a motherfucker already, this reaction video. But yeah. But I'm definitely going to like download the digital copy of The Brave on my Amazon on Amazon because I already got Amazon Prime on that bitch. So I'm going to go ahead and download it and like sit, have it saved on my hard drive so it won't take too much space on my MacBook Air. So if you want me to react to more Tom McDonald videos or like songs of that nature or just any artist in, in general like interviews songs music videos or shit you want, if you want me if you want me to react to more like any, any more videos having to do with wrestling or like say countdown videos what else what else what was it countdown videos movie clips movie trailers because I know there's quite a few of them that came out that I still got to check out as well and interviews and Freaking analysis videos, as well as anything related to politics. There's a lot of crazy shit going on that I like to touch on on this channel a little bit here and there. Be sure to post them in the comment section below. And if this is your first time watching this reaction video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that notification button.